What is the deal with Taco Tuesday? I mean, do you have to have a taco on Tuesday? What is a taco? I mean, seriously, you've got street tacos, soft shell tacos, hard shell tacos. You've got tacos this, tacos that, taco casserole. Oh, wait a minute, taco casserole. That's exactly what I'm gonna make. This is not your average taco casserole though, because we are gonna make our own taco seasoning, homemade right here at the Dude's Kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's do it. Our taco seasoning is some of the easiest stuff in the world. We start with two tablespoons chili powder, two teaspoons ground cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, half a teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and last but not least, a half a teaspoon of ground oregano. All right, let's start our taco casserole. I start with a pound of ground beef. Now this is the 8515. Mush it all up together, get a little over there, take all of our spices, pour them in. Excellent. Now that spice mix I gave you is basically for a pound ground beef. Makes it really good. Got a cast iron pan here and I'm just going to spray it down with some EVOO. Not a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to take a 12 inch tortilla, put it in there. Now, take our meat, kind of spread it out a little bit. Yeah, I did rip it in the corner there, but I think we're gonna be okay. I have here some queso cheese. Mm, heck yeah. Let's spread that queso cheese out a little bit. Spatula and just kind of spread it all around that. Excellent. Now I'm just going to put another tortilla shell in there. Now here's kind of a crazy part. This recipe calls for tomatoes, onions, cilantro, some lime juice. Well, guess what? I have it all here in the pico. Just spread that pico over. We're gonna bust out some heavy duty cheese and I'm using this like four state cheese, cheddar cheese dish. And we're gonna cap it with some olives. I did drain the juice on the olives. Olives are optional, of course. All right, now we could put some Rotel on here, which I think I'm going to. I drained the juice out of the Rotel. What I like about the Rotel is the fact that it has chilies in it and the, some extra tomatoes in it. Love it. Spread it all out. That's goodness right there. This right here, my friends, is some goodness. Now we're gonna put it onto the Weber kettle. We're gonna cook it on indirect heat. We're just gonna use some regular charcoal. I did pick up some of this cumin chili. It's like a flavor enhancer, I guess. I haven't tried it yet, but I figure since we have ground cumin in here, we've already got chilies. Let's give it a shot. Like I said, we're going to do this over direct heat at about 350 degrees. All right, we're just going to put our casserole on like that. Put the cap on. The heat's going to come up this way across that casserole and out. Our taco casserole has been off for about 45 minutes. I just removed it about 10 minutes ago. Wow. The aroma is amazing. Just kind of want to go around. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up because I think you're going to dig this. Just go all the way around. It's hot too. Whew. All right, let's, uh, let's cut into this. <laughs> kind of broke up along the way, but I don't know. What do you think? It actually looks pretty good. And I think what we get here is just from the bottom of the pan. 
let's try it out all right our first bite here you know I want to say there's a little bit of a bite nothing crazy to it though it's just about perfect I definitely get the fact that we made this on the Weber kettle but it does not overpower this whatsoever this is an amazing dish a great addition to taco tuesday and it goes down smooth that's all i can say about it all right i hope you enjoyed the video guys love you peace hang loose i'll talk to you now in the next video bye Our Weber kettle is up to about 350 and that's exactly where we want to cook it. But I wanted to share with you this cumin chili. Now I did open it up, it up a little bit more for us. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, brown brick. I'll bring you in for a closer look, but smelling it, it smells almost exactly like the chili seasoning that we just made. Let's show you what these look like. 